Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing 7th grade math lesson 4. Okay, it says the quantity, the quantities of the table above are in a proportional relationship. How many sales does a bear paw have? Be sure to show your work. Okay, so, um, we know that this, these are connected, so it would be, the ratio would be 20 out of 100, which is basically 2 out of 10, which is 1 over 5. So we know that a bear paw ha has 5 sales. Referring to the table above, fill in the missing value in the first row. Okay, so we know that the ratio is 1 over 5. So we can just plug this in. So for this one, we can just do uh, 15 times 1 over 5. That would get us um, 15 over 5, which would be 3. So that would be B. Okay. Fill in the missing value of this. Fill in the missing value in the second of the table. Okay, so it would be um we would just plug this in, but we would do five over one instead of one over five. So we would do fifteen times five over one, which would be seventy five over 1. So this would be 75, which is D. Three clovers have nine petals. Five clovers have 15 petals. How many petals does a clover have? Okay, well, um, we can do 15 divided by 5 and 9 divided by 3, which would give us 3 for both. So a clover would have three petals. Write the decimal as a percent. Uh, 0.85 would be 85% because you would move two decimals forward. This would be 92%. This would be 78%. This would be 899%. This would be 89.9% because you're moving two decimals. So this would be 99%. This would be 100% because you're moving two decimals. Um, this would be 45%. This would be 67%. And this would be 78%. Write the decimal as a fraction. Simplify. Okay, so this would be 85 out of 100. Um, and then this would be 125 over 100. And we know that this one, we can just divide this by 5 on both sides. So we would get... Um, 85 divided by 5, which is 1, 5, 3, 5, which would be 7. So it would be 17 over 50. And then 125 over 100, we can divide by 25, which would give us... um. 5 over 4. 0.25 we can just do divide that by 25 again which would give us 1 fourth and then 75 you can just divide by 25 again which would give us 3 fourths. 1.5 would be 150 out of 100 which we can divide by 50 which would give us 3 over 2.
Okay, 0.7, that would be, since we're moving two decimals, it would be either 7 over 10 or 70 over 100. But this is more simplified, so it would be 7 over 10. And then 45, that would be um, 45 out of 100. And we can divide this by 5 which would give us um, 9 over 50, and yeah. Okay, word problems. James, brought five, James bought five packs of markers, each costing $3.20, and two notebooks, each costing $4.50. He paid with a $25 bill. How much change would he get back? Okay, so you... First, we need to find the amount he spent, so it would be $3.20 times 5 plus $4.50 times 2, and then um, this would be subtracted by 25. So, let's solve this. So he spent he spent twenty five dollars exactly. Um, so he would get zero dollars and zero cents in change.